Ikurim 4 bike rack. This is a hitch mounted one. I'm just trying to put it together. The instructions this comes with, instructions aren't very clear. The pictures aren't very good. So I'm just trying to figure out how this thing goes and put it together here. Okay, so you have, there's three pieces to it. This is the middle section and this bolts onto here. And then this middle part slips onto the upper. The upper bolt here is held in by this pin so it can, so that you can pull the pin out and then the, then the hitch can kind of fold down. You can get into your trunk cargo area. Uh, this bottom one holds a bolt. There's three bolts here. One's longer than the others. The longer one goes in this one. These two go in here. So we're going to get those screwed in. Okay, it does come with the wrenches, so that's good. So you don't need to get any tools out, uh, but you just need both sides here. You're just tightening down these. All right, this is the center. All right, assembly is pretty much done. There's just three bolts, really. Two pins and three bolts you screw in. This is the top one that allows it to fold down, so when it's not in use, you can just kind of fold it down. Let's see, you can put the pin in there, lock it, lock it down for moving. So that's good. And then the bottom pin you can take out. And when it's inside the hitch, it should fold away so that you can get access to your trunk if it's in, in your car. It feels pretty sturdy. This is rated for 140 pounds, so that's about 35 pounds per bike. Move it back up here. This is the screw side. The Allen's on this side. So what they recommend doing is just turning them all over right side up, tightening them down. You can move the spacing a little bit if you need to. So it feels pretty good. It did come with an anti-rattle uh, kit. This is something that hooks onto the the hitch and the receiver here to stop it from rattling. So we'll go out and get it installed. All right, we've got it all assembled. We just brought it out to the garage. We're just gonna put it initially into the truck hitch. It does come with a hitch pin. So instead of like a, a like a pin and a clip, it comes with actually a big sturdy screw that you can put into the hole here. Uh, I don't know how secure this is this is obviously if someone wants to steal it they would need a wrench and a socket to be able to take it out so leave me a, a comment in the in the in the comments i'm going to i think i want to use a locking hitch pin instead of this screwed in hitch pin but it is good that they do provide you something but we're going to be traveling we're actually going to use this on our motor home so i'm just trying it out here on the truck as an initial kind of test, we'll and we'll load a few bikes on. We'll see how it holds the bikes. Only thing to complain quality-wise, one of these reflectors. So you see there's two reflectors on the ends of these bars for obvious reasons. One of them was off, so I had to put a little super glue on it and glued it back on. The other, other concern I have is that these straps here, I mean, they're a thick rubber strap that hold the bike on but they're very difficult to put on like to so if i have the bike tube here i'm trying to strap it down i mean it takes a lot of like force to get it over this which is good it's going to stay on you know these they're a thick rubber strap but i just think you know you have you have four of them on each side eight total when you're putting all four bikes on and then getting them off is also a chore. So that's yet to be seen how difficult it's going to be to strap these things down. You know, it's going to take a little effort. It's going to exert some work to be able to get those on. I'm going to throw a bike on here. We'll see how it holds holds up. All right, I threw a bike up here. This is my son's bike. I think this is a problem with any bike that you're going to use. So see how this bike has kind of a sloped top post? Well, it's there's not a lot of clearance 
you know, on, on this side of the bike holder here, it's fine. So this is about as, I could only store this bike on these outside. I couldn't, I couldn't get it further back on one of these and it's tilted downward. As you can see, it's not sitting level. Uh, they do make and sell a kind of a post that goes from the seat to the, uh, to the handlebar section here to make it like a flat area that you'd hang on a bike rack. But, um, you know, we'll see how this will work, but got this on here. These, these rubber clamps actually hold really well. I stretched them on there. Uh, it's not, not too difficult, but it does require some effort and some force to get it over this, this knob. But that's a good thing because it's going to hold it on there really well. I, I don't see this ever falling off. I guess the only concern with this rack is it doesn't have like a, like a built-in lock cable or something. So I'd have to figure out some kind of a locking system to, you know, wrap a uh, bike lock you know, security cable around this and around the bike lock just so, you know, bikes don't get stolen. So we're going to throw, I'm going to put a couple others on, take this one off, and we'll just see how they kind of fit on there. But um, overall, pretty good. Uh, just, I I think this, this any bike rack like this, you're going to have trouble with a, with a bike that has a sloping, you can't tell the slope because this is, but look how much further, Look how much further down the front wheel is at the back. I mean, it's at a pretty big angle. I don't think that's a huge problem. I don't. I don't see why that would be an issue. You know, having it having it sit like that. I don't think it is an issue. Let me know in the comments if it if there is an issue that I need to be aware of. Um, but I do have a couple other bikes. You know, kid bikes that have that problem, and we'll see how they fit on there. But if you have just straight across. Top posts probably shouldn't be an issue getting them on. All right, I've had a chance to use the Icurum uh, bike rack. This is, uh, we used it on our motorhome here. It does come with this anti-rattle thing. So you basically install it on the, the receiver. You screw this on, you tighten it down and it pre prevents it. And so you really, you can shake it and there's no rattle at all. It really reduces the rattling from shaking around so it actually worked out really well uh, the straps tended to be a little hard to strap on and off but as far as um, functionality it worked great folds down nice held the bikes just like we wanted to so I think this was a good I think it's a decent decent bike rack for the money there's a link in the description to it uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments but thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to the channel